everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Diamond Painting 101, and I'm going to talk about how you start up your very first diamond painting painting from scratch. So this is for beginners that have never diamond painted before. So if you know how to diamond paint and this is going to bore you, maybe you don't want to watch. But for the people that don't know anything about diamond painting, this is going to be for you. So I've got here a diamond painting that I purchased a long time ago from the Pink Raspberry. I have not completed it yet. It is still in the bags from the store the way it came. It is a very pretty picture. It's of some butterflies and a sunflower on a table or something. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I actually got a lot of views on the unboxing of this one. Everybody seems to really like it. So on your diamond painting, you'll have a legend. So on Pink Raspberry, they have two legends. They have one on the bottom left-hand corner, and then I don't want to make anybody dizzy. And then they have one on the top right hand corner of the other side of the canvas. And then I'm just going to move you again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to make anybody dizzy. So the first thing you do when you get a diamond painting is you have this legend. Now it's numbered from one to 33. So I know that there's 33 colors here is the code. Now you can't really see very close up. I try to get closer, but it doesn't really want to do it for me. So you have the code here. So I'm going to bring you up close. Yeah, I'm going to bring you up close so you can see just a little bit better. All right, I brought you up a little bit closer so maybe you can see a little bit of the legend. So this is a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. So that is the drilling area. Some canvases go from the end of the canvas to the other end. That isn't the drilling field, but this one is just the drilling field. I know because I measured it when I did my unboxing. Now, as you can see, one is an R and it's letter and it's DMC code. So every color has a DMC code. Usually the DMC code is the same color for every other painting. Some companies, their shades are a little bit off, but the majority of them are all the same. I only know a few companies that the color is, is slightly off. So number one is an R, it's 166. Number two is, it kind of looks like a little C or a swirl. I don't even know, but it's 310. So that's the black. So I already know over here is all that number. So, and so forth and so forth. And then I have the color here. Usually the pink raspberry is pretty fair to put the colors in order. So there's 166 is like a green. 310 is right here, and there's a lot of them. The pink raspberry comes in really nice reusable bags. You wouldn't have to kit them up in a kit. I usually kit my all my projects up, even the pink raspberry, in kits like this, where I write the number on and I put them in little containers. Now I'm pretty close to the camera right now, so it's gonna be hard to see. But, I will, I will turn you around and bring you out of not so close to the zoom. Sorry about that. I'm back again. So I usually kit all mine up. And if I don't have a legend, which a lot of these do, this one does not have a legend. It probably did at some point, but I don't know what I did with it. So I would end up just putting on the sticker, the symbol, and the number just for my my um use and that's what i do i put the symbol in the dc in the d dmc code on all my containers i don't really care about this number 
Some people just go by this number and they keep on referring back to the legend. I don't like to refer back to the legend, so I make sure I write down the picture or the letter and the DMC code. That's what I do for that. So here you have it. I have 310, 166. All of them are in the bags and they're right here. The pink raspberry bags are really fun and reusable. Now, this is not a kit from the pink raspberry, but I just grabbed this one because I had it conveniently out. This actually comes from Diamond Art Club, and usually each kit comes with a simple tray, a simple pen, usually a multi-placer on the end, and some wax. This one comes with heart wax because it's Diamond Art Club. But I'm gonna use it to show you how to diamond paint with these tools. So I'm gonna bring you up close again, and I'm gonna show you how to simply diamond paint. Usually I cover this with parchment paper. That I have another video of Diamond Painting 101 about parchment paper, you can go look. But because I'm just doing this for an experiment to show you how you diamond paint, I am only going to be using, I'm just going to be peeling back a corner of this. Usually I cut mine in sections and I'll, and I make do. I'll show you what I mean about cutting in sections. I'm going to just poke myself with a pencil. So I have a light pad on. I, re I recommend if you like diamond painting and you want to continue on diamond painting, invest in a light pad. So I'm just going to make a cut here with my exacto knife. I don't even care if it's a straight line or not. And there you have it to pull it back. So I just pulled back a little section right here for you guys to see. I'm going to bring you back close. So as you can see, the clear paper is really hard to find out where I finished and where I didn't make the mark. Some people put washi tape here to like section it off. This is why I use parchment paper because it's really hard to see where the it ends. But I'm going to do 310 because I have three tens right here. And that's the one that I am going to show you and demonstrate. So you got your little boat here. I'm gonna put a little bit of diamonds into my boat, just like that. And then I'm going to just give it a little shake to make them all stand the proper way. Now you want the rounded side up. You don't want to do the flat side up because the round side is not going to stick down. But before I do that, I'm going to peel back the upper layer of this heart. And here is my pen. Let's see, I can't show you. It's hard to show you like this. So there is my pen. I'm going to put wax in here. So I'm going to place it down here just like that. I, you can't see it because I'm like zoomed right into this area, aren't I? I'm going to push back the paper. Oops, sorry guys. I'm messing it all up again. I'm going to push back the paper for one minute so I can show you how to do the wax. So here's the pen. All you're going to do is you're going to press down and you see how it's starting to make the little holes. You press down until you see wax inside that tip. Now, I'm having a really hard time here where the camera is. Oh dear, why am I not seeing? There we go. So there is the wax inside the tip. This one has a nice grippy on. Some places come with it, some places don't. So now I'm gonna pull back this one section again. 
Um, I prefer to use a light pad and I'm going to show you this with the light pad on. So these little C's here is what the 310 is on the chart and you just pick up your gem just like that. You pick it up just like that and you place it on the circle. This one has dummy circles on it and that's all you do. The wax lasts quite a while in the pen and you just continue on placing the diamonds down where they belong on the little C. And that is it, the most easiest thing you can possibly do. And it's so relaxing just to hear that click as you diamond paint. And that is not it. It's just incredible. It's not a C because that's a C there. I don't know what this is. Just like a little, it looks like a C, but it's not fully a C. And there you have it. That's all you do to diamond paint. It's very easy, but if you watch, I think it's episode two maybe, or one. I have one on parchment paper and how I cover my paintings with parchment paper when it is a clear cover like this. And I have different kinds of covers. That is one of my Diamond Painting 101s. So if you want any tips on learning what to do when diamond painting, go over to my Diamond Painting Tips 101. I have one every Thursday. Just started the segment and it will show you how to use the parchment paper. Next week, I'll show you how to use multi-placers. Now, my favorite multi-placers are the three, which this one is a three, and the four, which I have on my special pen right here. And my special pen's too tall. So that's a four-placer. I have a four-placer and a three-placer are my favorites. But you just continue on moving along. I go by sections. Some people go by color. Some people do all of the one color and then they continue on to the next color. You can do it like that, but I don't like to. I like to section mine off in little sections. Maybe that will be a part of next week's too is why I section it off in these little sections and I get, I feel like the picture is coming to life when I do it this way, other than the color everywhere because the picture doesn't look very complete. At least if you can, if you go on and then see when they don't flip over, you can just sh shake them and then there you go again. Now, I'd probably be using a multi-placer here, I'm not going to lie. And now I really want to do this painting because I started it. Isn't that funny? But yeah, there you have it. Do I have any R's around here that I could change color real quick? Not really, they're up there. There isn't really any down here. So I don't really want to show you a whole big lot of it, but like I said, this is an easy way. The bags from the pink raspberry are really nice and sturdy to reuse again. If you want, they already have a sticker that says 310. You can maybe write the symbol on there so that you know what the symbol is. And it's kind of like that. I don't know, it's something like that. And then this one is an R, so you could, oh, there's no paper over there. 
So something like that is what it looks like. And then this one is the 166 and it's an R. So I can just put an R right beside it like that. And then I know it's an R and you could basically work out of the bags. And you wouldn't have to kit this project necessarily up. Now, some projects come like this, with bags like this. A lot of the Chinese ones do. These ones I usually put up in the containers, like I showed you earlier before. And these containers is what I usually put. These containers here is what I usually put these little baggies in. I actually do them for all of them, but I'm just saying for for sure I put those ones in a baggie. I'm going to bring you back up again. So there you have it, guys. I'm not going to continue on diamond painting on this one at all. I just wanted to show you how to start a diamond painting. Like I said, you can't really see the clear paper. This is a cover reminder that I made. It has a magnet underneath and a magnet on top and it just holds back your paper. I made this one myself. You can also purchase them on Etsy from a few shops. Um, I just make them for myself and for my friends. But see how you can't really tell where this is unless you lift it up? That I don't, that I don't really like. That is why I, I changed this paper with parchment paper. Some people put washi tape so they know where the line ends. But I don't like to do that either. I just rather just rip it off, put cheap old parchment paper that I get from Walmart in a roll on top and there you have it. But that's all you do guys. You just find a letter, let's see. To find little g. What's little g? Where's that nine? I think it's a little g. Hmm. I'm going to turn the light up a little bit. No. Yeah. I think it's 31, to tell you the honest truth. But I'll pick 7. What's 7? Seven? 7 is 820. 829. See if I can find 829 real quick. 829. 7. 7. Seven, six, eight, what did I say it was? Eight twenty-nine. Eight twenty-nine is right here. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck to the painting. Eight twenty-nine is right here, so I grab my tray, I open up my bag. And it's the number seven that I want to do. Oh gosh, why do I have that in my hand? Dump a little bit of it up. Give it a little bit of a shake. Find all the sevens on my canvas. See how I haven't refilled on wax because the wax lasts for quite a long time in your pen. Once you start it, you notice that you can't pick up the drills anymore. That's when you know, like it's starting to get like that now. That's when you know you need to refill your pen. And that's all you got, that's all you do. It's very relaxing just sitting here. And in the end, you make a beautiful picture now, who wouldn't like to do that? Make a beautiful picture. So, 
so easy. So easy to diamond paint. You can lose track of time and time will go by very quickly when you're diamond painting. So I'm going to put this back in because I'm not going to do any more of this painting. It was just for show and tell, but I can put on here a seven. So I know that 829 is the number seven, just like that. I'm going to put it back in my bag and I'm going to put this diamond painting away. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to start a diamond painting. And when you're not working on it, you can just cover it up again with the paper and it will keep the stickiness free from debris. And there you have it, guys. A little start of a diamond painting just for you guys. With that said, Check out, my, check out my video on the parchment paper. I hope I explained it clear enough for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I will leave a link to the pink raspberry if you'd like to purchase this painting. I think she still has some in stock. Don't quote me because you know what's going on in the world right now. I don't know what she has and what she doesn't have. But with that said, I'm gonna See you guys tomorrow for the live giveaway, which will be happening at 12 o'clock. So be there to find out if you won. If you haven't checked it out, check out last Friday's weapon chat, enter my contest, and you could win a $50 gift card to Diamond Art Club. That's US money, $50. It's a great giveaway. It's for my 500, 500 subscriber giveaway. So please enter and hopefully we'll find out who wins tomorrow. So take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.